Namaste brothers and sisters. This is Jen and um, welcome to the 11.11 morning meditation. I hope I'm in the right group, not on my own page. Let's just see. Yep, yep. So we'll just wait to see if anyone joins us. Martin. Hello Martin. Hey bro. So we're going to be um, going to be facilitating an 11-11 morning meditation today. Oh Grace Asteria is here. Hi Grace. Oh. Oh. Hey bro. Oh. Um, who have we got? Grace. Well we've got Grace and Martin. That's a fantastic start. And we've got Roisin. Wonderful. Let's just give everyone a minute. And let's see how we um, see how we get on. Grace, how are you, darling? You're gonna come to Glastonbury to visit me. Right, so just give everyone one more minute. I mean, I think we can do better than six people. Okay, so beloved, um, woke up this morning with a um, message from Spirit that they wanted um, us to um, experience a meditation whereby we are actually going to be um, literally, literally um, upgrading our, our eyes. We're going to be working with um, our eyes and assisting our eyes to transition from um, like perceiving everything from a 3D consciousness perspective to perceiving from a higher dimensional um, perspective. And so this means being able to see auras, being able to see colours, um, means like being able to really really tune into like where if you meet someone so it's like having your third eye really really super polished so that when you meet someone you're going to be able to have like a really really deep insight into what is going on for that person where they're at emotionally what blocks that they're dealing with how you can be of service to them do you know what I mean so it's like really really polishing up, up your um your intuition really in a way when when we're going to be doing this work on our on our eyes so we're going to be working on our third eye and we're also going to be working on our on our physical eyes so um we've got oh we've got 27 people on the call that's not bad that's not bad that's a that's a decent amount of people to start with so i am um i'm gonna be sharing a meditation brothers and sisters and then afterwards i'm just going to be speaking about a couple of little things so um what i just invite everyone to do now i've just got to try and sort out my camera so it doesn't plop all right so just it's going to be about a 10 minute meditation so if you really really want to get the most out of this meditation and you want to actually experience a proper upgrade which you will then close all your boxes just just be focused on this for 10 minutes yeah okay so don't get don't get distracted like the more you can actually focus your uh, intention into this work the more uh, far-reaching the benefits will be so it's now 11 11 ding um, it's 11 11 everyone so I just invite you just to find yourself in a comfortable position and just close your eyes and begin to take some deep breaths Breathing in through your navel centre. And as you breathe out, relaxing your shoulders. Relax. 
relaxing your jaw. Bringing your awareness to where your body is in contact with the floor or the chair or the bed. And just really attuning to the sensation of being carried, of feeling held. Allowing yourself to be carried in this moment. On the next out breath, visualizing a beautiful white cord coming out of your root chakra. And visualize this cord now wrapping itself tightly around the core of new earth. From now on, we will be grounding into new earth. We'll be enlivening and activating the fifth dimensional earth grid that is currently interfacing the third dimensional artificial intelligence matrix. So as we are grounding, we are choosing to ground into the fifth dimensional new earth. The vibration of unity consciousness, of galactic maturity and self responsibility. With each out breath, send your grounding cord deeper and deeper and feel it wrapping itself tightly around the core of Mother Earth. Like a white snake, feel it wrapping itself tightly around the core of Mother Earth. Grounding you, anchoring your energy into this present moment of now. The zero point field of creation where all timelines coalesce. Where all timelines operate concurrently from the present moment. Attune your consciousness to the present moment and anchor your consciousness here. Set the intention to anchor your consciousness in the present moment of now. The only moment that has ever existed. And now visualizing a beautiful white pillar of light extending from your crown center up to the heavens. Attune now to this white pillar of light. And know implicitly that your higher self exists at the top of this pillar of light and is now sending you waves and waves of exquisite golden light energy that are in many ways needing your consciousness much as you need the dough Allow these waves of golden light to flow down the pillar of light. And observe them cascading over you in waves. And these waves are preparing your consciousness for the upgrades that we are about to activate 
for us all personally on this group call, but also for the entire collective consciousness of the earth. Open your palms now to receive these rolling waves of white light. And now you can direct this light anywhere in your body where there is a tightness or a tension. And just observe this as golden waves washing over your heart, washing over your shoulders, washing over your neck, wherever this energy is needed, direct this healing light there. And internally repeat, I am open to receive this healing energy. Just observe now, these beautiful golden waves of light are washing over you, preparing your energetic field for the upgrades that we are all about to activate. So we will allow this process to continue, these beautiful waves being sent forth from our higher self. Now in your mind's eye, I ask you to visualize yourself sitting in a great circle high in the Himalayan mountains in Tibet, Mount Kailash, which is associated as the third eye center of the earth. Visualize all of us in this circle sitting at the top of Mount Kailash so very, very, very close to the heavenly bodies. And as we are all sitting in this great circle at Mount Kailash, just observe that everybody in the circle has a large pillar of white light that is extending from their crown center up into the heavens. Please notice this now, all 54 souls that are joined in this moment sitting in this great circle with these white pillars of light extending up to the heavens. And notice that everybody is very, very deep in meditation. Everybody is very much accessing their inner self and is connecting very, very deeply with the silence of their eternal being. Please observe this. Now, just put yourself in your body, sitting in this circle. And as you are sitting there, You notice that if you bring your fingers together, your thumb and your forefinger, your first finger together, this activates a dispensation of liquid that it's like in a car where you press the button and the water comes to clean the screen. Please observe this now as this water, which is actually a secretion that is being sent forth from the claustrum within your brain. It is now releasing a golden white liquid just behind your third eye center, just behind your forehead, where your etheric third eye exists. Just observe this as an eye, as a singular eye that is being infused with a golden elixir 
It is being absolutely and entirely infused with this golden elixir. And this golden elixir is being dispensed from aspects of your brain, particularly the clostrum area, whereby these Christos secretions are stored. Please observe them now, secreting like, like water that's washing away, clearing away the screen of your third eye. So observe that this, this entire area is infused with golden soapy suds. And now I invite you to bring your thumb and your middle finger together. And as you bring them together, please observe how this activates a wiper momentum. Just observe now that there are these two golden window screen wipers on your third eye. And just notice now how they are just moving back and forth And they are really, really cleansing the perception of your consciousness. Really get a sense of, of this shiny clarity, whereby all of these marks and all of these smudges are all being entirely erased. Please observe this sensation. We are now going to press our thumb and middle finger together again and we are going to increase the intensity of this window screen wiper. So it's really, really going for it now. Washing away all false perception, all perceptions that are based on limitation and false programming are all being wiped and cleared away from your third eye. And please know that you are not only doing this for yourself, you are doing this for your entire ancestral lineage, past, present and future. You are cleansing the lens of perception that one may only view reality from the perspective of the heart. So just notice as this is occurring, that a golden channel is now almost like a golden track is running internally from your third eye center, like a golden track goes down to your thymus gland, your higher heart center. Just observe this golden track. Now I invite you to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, observe your thymus gland as a golden heart. And as you breathe out, observe this golden heart expanding and becoming more solid. Take a few deep breaths. And as you are sending all of this love, all of this energy to your thymus gland, to your higher heart, please observe how this is now trickling up, up this golden track. And this is sending, this is activating a, a light rain, a rain that is made of pure light to, um, to be dispensed just above your forehead. And we are now profoundly establishing the link between the heart and the third eye. That in order to perceive accurately, we must only perceive from the heart consciousness. And the heart is the bridge of heaven and earth. And the heart is actually the zero point field. 
where all timelines converge. Just really open your palms to allow yourself to receive this almighty upgrade that is being sent forth now from your own higher self. And as this is occurring, please notice now that you are being guided to press your thumb and your forefinger on your left hand together. And as you bring them together, this now releases this golden elixir onto our physical eyes. Just like where you press a button in the car and it releases the water to cleanse the screen. Notice now as you press your thumb and forefinger together, again this secretion is being released from the colostrum and it is sending forth a golden liquid over our physical eyes and they are now being bathed in this golden elixir. And now I invite you to bring your thumb and your third and your middle finger together on your left hand and press them together. And as you press them together, please observe now these golden window screen wipers start working on your physical eyes. And they are clearing away any blemishes, any shadows. Just observe this now. Right, to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, fill up your heart again, like pump up your heart. And observe as this golden energy makes its way up this golden track from your thymus gland to your physical eyes. And now observe this beautiful golden rain it has been sent forth from your higher heart that is now raining down on your physical eyes. I invite you now just to rub your palms together Bring your palms above your eyes and send beautiful words and wishes to your eyes now, thanking them that they can see beyond the veil, they can perceive reality clearly from the perspective of unity consciousness, from the perspective of kindness and service to all from the perspective of devotion, one who is in devotion to all. Really consciously now send a blessing to your eyes, brothers and sisters. Send a blessing to your third eye. Remembering how powerful we all are and that we all have access to this inner technology. We all have the power to communicate to our higher self and to initiate these upgrades and these releases. I invite you, if it feels resonant for you, to repeat the words I now see clearly and perceive clearly with love. I now see clearly and perceive clearly with love. I now see clearly 
and perceive clearly with only love. This morning meditation I upgrade is now complete brothers and sisters. I invite you to take a really deep cleansing breath. You just slowly start coming back into your body. Start wiggling your fingers. Wiggling your toes. Whenever you're ready, just you can open your eyes. And you can come back to the room. So Gina says, I now see clearly and perceive clearly with only love. Oh, that's so nice. Grace says, thank you so much for your gifts. Oh, thank you, Grace. Sarah Jacqueline says, thank you. I woke up from a dream and knew you would be going live. Whoa. Hi, Joanna. Oh, Anna. Hi, Anna. Thank you, Goddess. Thank you, Divine Goddess. I love you. I love you too. How are you all feeling? I'm feeling really good after that. That was really, really amazing. Thanks a million, dear Jen. Have a, have a great time. <laughs> Where are you going, Hanukkah? <laughs> Hanukkah's like, have a great time. Where are you going? Thank you, I am love. Joanna, did you do the meditation, hon? Did you do the meditation? It's epic. Whoever is, like, is just jumping on the call now, like, do the meditation. It really is amazing. Um, I feel like it's definitely upgraded me. I feel like it's actually um, released a bit of a bit of something like heaviness around my heart. I feel like something got cleared that was in, that was in my heart. Jenny says, um, "Wow, thanks, Jen. My grandson is with me doing this activation. I now see clearly and perceive only with love." Yay! Anna Maria says, love and light, Jen. I was guided to do this last night. Whoa. So Anna Marie got the, she got the download that that's what, you know, this is where we're going right now. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is really, really cool. I'm just having this real issue with my phone that keeps wobbling. This was the best meditation so far. Love you. Oh, bless. Bless. Yeah, no, I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling like it's actually cleared something really, really epic. Um, I guess I'm having a few challenges on my journey with my twin 3D, 5D at the moment. And, um, and so I woke up just feeling a little bit like, oh, what's going on, God? What's going on? Um, and, and, and a feeling of like, you know, those, those 3D timelines are sort of like pulling me in, you know. But I feel like doing this meditation has, has just like eradicated that, um, those kind of like, those perceptions that were coming from that wounded place, from that old place. So um, I'm definitely feeling a really, really significant shift after doing that, which is really, really amazing. And I will be going back to do this meditation again. In fact, I might even do this meditation every day because it was so amazing. Um, so just wanted to share a little bit about that. Um, and I just want to just use this opportunity to just see if there's any, anything that anyone would like me to talk about. Like I know that something came up the other day about... Um, about this whole thing of ascension and about like how like ascension and like how do we ascend with our twins and all that and it is something that I do want to speak about um so what do I want to say about that well I think the first question is well what what is ascension like does, does anyone actually even know like, like some people do know but like what is ascension that that is the question like how how does one ascend how do you ascend you know, um, 
um, yeah. So um, now, my understanding of ascension, I can only speak about it from my own personal, subjective experience of that phenomena. And so how my ascension was, was triggered by um, me knowing, seeing and perceiving the true identity of my twin soul. And so what happened to me was that I already had had my massive kundalini awakening when I was 21 and I from that experience my consciousness was placed at a level of elder of, of spiritual elder for the um, for the planet and then I and so I was awakened from age 21 you know but then fast forward 18 years later um, I was didn't know who my twin was um, and one day I was just walking around Glastonbury Tor and I saw this very thick mist in my third eye and then this mist parted and I saw the, um, his face and I did not have a clue that this was my twin but somehow seeing his face, his face was like a Morse code that was able to somehow click in with my own pineal gland and decode or release all of the um, the codes and the knowings, the gnosis pertaining to full remembrance of who I am <clears throat> as a multidimensional avatar being. So, for my own personal journey, it was through um, meeting my genuine twin soul, and somehow. I was very, very far along on my spiritual journey, I have to say that. <clears throat> and so this isn't necessarily going to apply to everybody. But I can only speak about ascension from my own personal experience. And so, because it was divine timing for me to know the, um, the identity of my divine counterpart, when my higher self deemed that it was the right time for me to know his identity, he came to me in a vision, and in that moment of that vision, and I saw him, it was like that That just released everything. It released whatever's stored within the pituitary gland and whatever is stored in the pineal gland, and it's my understanding that the pituitary gland is the yin and the, the pineal gland is the yang, and so at certain moments on our spiritual journey, these organs or these these um, aspects of our consciousness will be activated and then and then once they start releasing all of their secretions and their you know the, the Christos oil and all that once that starts actually getting released then this is what awakens us to our multi-dimensionality and then we shift from being identified as a, as a third dimensional being to a fifth dimensional being. But ultimately, the way that you can explain that is as a third dimensional being, we are trained and conditioned to perceive everything from, from duality consciousness, from, from a me and you and an us and a them perspective. It's all, it's all duality, it's polarity and duality. But in that moment where we meet that trigger, whether that's a guru, whether that's a teacher, whether that's your twin soul, whether that's a, a song or, or a lyric, or whether that's a beautiful part of nature, whenever we meet that trigger, that is going to trigger our pineal gland and our pituitary gland to release those secretions. Once those secretions are released, our consciousness is bathed in, in the knowing of oneness, of unity, of the fact that there is no separation. And, and, and that is the ascension. The ascension of one's consciousness is coming from that place where the 3D sort of like conditioning that is like that we perceive ourselves as separate and us and me and you and us and them and black and white and male and female. We perceive everything from a sort of like dualistic perspective and that is 3D perspective. But then what, when we actually meet our trigger, whether that's your twin or a guru or teacher, whatever... And, and all of those secretions get released in our, from our organs in our brain, that it is then which um, transforms our vibration to um, 
and to be calibrated to like fifth, the, the fifth dimension, which is absolute pure unity consciousness. So, so my response to that question, like, do we need our twin flame to ascend? I believe that we all set it up like as we all sit at the feet of mother father god prior to incarnation we all sit sit with our twin at the feet of mother father god making a plan of, of how, how we're going to do this lifetime the major lessons that we're going to learn the um the major blocks that we're going to have to clear for our family the biggest challenges and so all of our soulmates come in and they say yeah you know you, you want to work on forgiveness in this lifetime so i'm going to be an absolute total shit bum to you so that you can um you can forgive me but actually that's going to be so good for you it's going to really make you expand so so we sit there and we make a plan with mother father god about how we're actually going to do this awakening journey and at that point when we're making our plan we will we will create triggers the triggers that are going to come along to awaken us from this 3d nightmare artificial intelligence matrix illusion um to to the truth of the fact that all that exists is unity all that exists is oneness and we are all one and there's absolutely no separation so it, it is something that is pre-planned by the soul every soul has an individual way of waking up but for many especially now at this this particular time of this turning of this great cycle where mother father god has has deemed it um wholly appropriate that this is the lifetime that many 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 twin souls and in fact all of the 144,000 um starseed illumined twin flames will come into physical union in this lifetime so for this lifetime we will have made this plan this pre-plan at the feet of mother father god do you know what i mean um uh, to, to uh, of like when these triggers are going to come and for me it happened to be my twin soul but I'm, i know for a fact that's not the only that's not the only way that your um that you can ascend like it can be through a guru it can through, can can be through a teacher um so i just wanted to say about that so so like basically in a nutshell um there will be triggers it's like we we are, when we incarnate into this third dimension we all sign up for amnesia don't we we all sign up with amnesia and we're like okay yeah right okay we're really vast galactic beings you know part of the founder race of lyra you know been been you know existing in 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 this body for like you know a million years and doing all this epic work but I'll, I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna go to earth in this in this lifetime because like earth is transitioning from 3d to 5d and so um i'm just gonna forget everything everything of who I am, everything that I know, I'm just gonna like, just go, go into amnesia. <laughs> and we all do it, like every single soul does it. Do you know what I mean? And so the fact that we all sign up to be part of this am amnesia grid, it's like at some point there has to be an awakening. Do you know what I mean? There has to be, there has to be something that comes along to trigger us um, to, to awaken out of this, this like nightmare do you know what i mean this is not even true it's this artificial matrix um so oh god zen's just oh zen's just wrote me a really really epic long message i'll read that after zen um so i just wanted to speak about that so um i haven't met anyone who has Apart from, like, say, someone like Bubba G or someone like that, like, like a really proper, like, guru, you know what I mean? He will have, he will have incarnated with his, with his third eye open. But generally, on the whole, we are, um, you know, we need those triggers. We need those triggers to come along and activate our ascension. So I hope that brings clarity. I know that that was causing quite a lot of confusion because a woman in the group said, oh, do we need our twins to ascend? And it's like, well, we, we, we definitely, we, you know, it's really he helpful to have a trigger. That, that is it. And for some, for myself, it was my twin. My twin was the trigger. And I think that that is the same for many of us, probably, that are on this, in our group, that are on this Twin Flame journey. So that was all I wanted to say about that. Um, I've got a few minutes until I have to go. So is there anyone that's got any question that they would like me to uh, give, it, give it a go to answer?
Has anyone got any questions about anything? So Joanna said that she was triggered in 2012 with her pre-twin soulmate. Yes, yes, you can get triggered. Absolutely, you can get triggered by a, by a catalyst twin. And in fact, it was my catalyst twin that triggered my kundalini awakening when I was 21. And, and you know, guys, I, I really highly recommend going back and watching like, a lot of my videos because I do speak a lot about my awakening journey. And, um, and th there are a lot of codes that are being shared that actually activate and trigger your own like full on awakening. Um, so, so yeah, that's that. So is there, oh, hi Florence, Margarita and Loza. <laughs> So also, uh, Amy says, Joanna, I was triggered in 2012 with my twin. That's great. So just, is there any anything that anyone would like me to address? I did have a few questions, but I can't seem to find them. Um, so, okay, there's nothing, I'm gonna just read out. I can't, okay, so Andrea says, Andrea Rolanda says, I can't find my twin. Okay, so Andrea. Your twin is actually within you. You know, your twin is exists within your kundalini energy. So the um, the polarized uh, aspect of your twin exists within your own kundalini energy. And so when Rumi said, um, you know, true lovers don't don't meet outside of themselves. They were inside each other all along. It is referring to the fact that you can. Um, make this U-turn and and connect with your twin within, you know. And um, catalyst came after the true. Can the catalyst twin come after the true twin? I've never heard of that, um, Lindsay. But I wouldn't say that's impossible. No, but I've never personally come across that. Um, but I would just say to Andrea. Oh, Joanna says, want to take this as another opportunity to celebrate you for your work and for bringing us all together. We love you very much, sister. Oh, thank you, Joanna. I love you too, sister. Joanna's my amazing, amazing moderator. He's been with me since day one. So sending a great, great prayer of love and gratitude to Joanna for her amazing selfless service. To all of the admin team, all of the admin team, we put in so many hours to running this group, brothers and sisters. Like we really, really do. Like we're really, really thorough, and um, we we stay on it, making sure that this space is is powerfully sacred for all of you to come in and to, for you to experience your your full on awakening. Um, so back to that 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 thing about um, um, Andrea was saying about I can't find my twin. Well, actually, your twin is within you, Andrea. So if I was you, I would start. Um, thinking about like, you know, connecting with kundalini yoga or kundalini meditations, meditations that are gonna connect you with your own kundalini energy. Um, and so, and what you can do that, it's like, it's all, almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like you can get your kundalini energy cooking. It's like at the moment, if you haven't really found your twin and you know, you're in that situation, it's like you could, you could look at it like your kundalini energies, like, um, it's just sort of like it's like it's 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 in it's in a um, saucepan, but it's not cooking. <laughs> it's not cooking. What you want to do is you want to get it on the on the stove, and you want to get it like cooking. So you do that through connecting it with your kundalini, visualizing your kundalini, doing meditations to connect with your kundalini, and then you start getting it cooking. You know what I mean? You start getting it to start heating and to start rising, and this is really, really, really helpful. <clears throat> for you to um you know come into that vibration of, of aligning with your with your counterpart is the fact that you are getting this you are getting this cooking already you know but there isn't anything outside of ourselves like, i am that i am i am the the alpha and the omega i am the divine masculine and and the feminine that is the that is the actual truth but in this realm we do we have set it up so that we we attract certain triggers that remind us of that of that that i am that i am and there's nothing outside of yourself and i really really hope that that me sharing my own personal ascension story about the fact that, that my trigger was my twin um brought anyone into this illusion that that, that you need something outside of yourself because actually you don't 
We each set it up in our own individual way that is going to be the most efficient way for us to experience our ascension and it's all individual. So, but you can get it cooking, you can get your Kundalini cooking. Ah, so, okay, so Jennifer Robinson has said, thank you, Jen and the admin team. It means so much to us in the world. Oh, Jennifer. Andrea says, I will. Thank you, Jen. Ooh, energy into, okay, great. Raja Yoga. Yep, Michelle Henderson's joined. Right. Thanks, administration team. Yeah, so it's like Shakti transmission, yeah. So yeah, you wanna get it cooking. You wanna, you wanna sort of like start connecting in with your Kundalini energy and taking it from that very, very sort of like dormant state into, into, into an activated state. Okay, so um, thank you, Jen. So Lin Lindsay says, I think there is some confusion between what is a catalyst twin and a karmic partner. In fact, I, I, I think that they're very, very similar. You know, um, I don't think they're all identical. I think you can have catalyst twins and, and karmic partners that are separate. But I think you can also have both where your karmic partner is, is a catalyst for you, is a catalyst twin for you. So um, a karmic partner is someone who generally that you have um, come into a relationship with uh, based on thoughts and vibrations of lack, i.e. So, so, so you, will, you will have attracted, a karmic partnership are often formed on, on 3D timelines. So if, you, if your consciousness is, is fixed to the notion that you know, this, is a, this is a cruel world, um, you're never gonna find true love, um, just the best thing you can do is just like survive and sort of like get through each day as best as you can. If you have that attitude, then you will attract a partner that will meet you on that level, that is going to be a vibratory reflection of, of those thoughts, you see? And so that, and, and that is a karmic relationship. It is, it is the foundations of that re relationship are based on lack, on, on, on the fact that, oh, you know, it's better to have, have something than nothing at all, and, and all of these notions of lack. That, that's, in a nutshell, that kind of defines this karmic, what a karmic relationship with. Whereas a catalyst twin is more someone that you've made a soul contract who's going to catalyze your, the ascension codes that you have within your, within your energetic system. And so a catalyst twin is more likely to um, trigger your awakening you know, trigger your awakening. And so very often with catalyst twins, you get loads and loads of signs and loads and loads of synchronicities because all of these signs and synchronicities, they're, they're, they're sort of like messages from the beyond the veil to awaken you out of the illusion of the fact that, you know, that this is, this is the third dimensional controlled matrix. And actually there is this vast universe of potential that, that, that we have access to via our consciousness. And so the catalyst twin will come and will sort of like awaken you and trigger you and catalyze you to, to remember who you are as a, as a vast um, eternal being. Spot on, and they are brought in to help us learn lessons and heal. That's a very, very good point, Joanna. Yes, so the way often I describe catalyst relationships or catalyst twin scenarios it's like when we all incarnate into the third dimension the garden of our heart is very compromised and um it's it's a very very it's quite a cruel place for the soul to to be functioning in the third dimension into this into this control matrix so it's very very brutal in many ways for us as these angelic souls to be incarnated into these realms and so because of that the garden of our heart is very hard it's like imagine if you've got a garden that's very the soil is very very hard and there's a lot of weeds and there's a lot of you know and the weeds represent your past life and karmic um programs that are no longer serving you and that, and that you, you're not going to be taking with you to the new earth and so what happens is a catalyst twin will come into your sphere and they will they will you know touch your heart and they will trigger you and and but they'll trigger you to start doing all the work and and, and the work means to prepare the soil for, for the seed of your true love 
do you know what I mean, brothers and sisters? So they, so the catalyst twin is they're going to be like digging, they're be like going to be like pushing you and 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 forcing you to purge in a way, um, forcing you to purge and to clear out, um, you know, all of these these illusory programmings, and so so that so that the garden of your heart is um, is prepared for the seed of true love. So do you understand the importance of the catalyst twin? The catalyst twin is so is so important for preparing your consciousness for the real deal, you know, because had the catalyst twin not have come and you would have met your twin, then how would that seed of true love be able to be planted in a, in a rock solid in soil? It just wouldn't take. Do you know what I mean, brothers and sisters? Right, so Amy says, our journey began through our Tantra book. We found depths of spirituality we were not expecting. Wow. Thinking about getting back into it. Sounds like a good plan, Amy, darling. And then Megan says, the divine timing of this video, I needed to hear this today. Well, that's really good. Neveen Kesar says, love it, Gem. And Laura says, wow, well, thank you. Okay. So that's kind of what I wanted to speak about today. And I don't want to make this video too long, um, but I really, really hope that this has brought clarity to, to brothers and sisters. And um, I really, really look forward to gathering with you all on the 9-9 um, the transmission. The energy is really, really building for that. It's going to be such an auspicious ceremony to be part of for all genuine counterparts. We're going to be activating an extremely powerful Kundalini merge that is going to assist you. In fact, this is very much related to everything that we're speaking about. Is, is you know This is all going to be addressed within the 9-9 transmission where we're going to be doing massively deep work with our Kundalini energy and connecting with our beloved um, from, from that vibration of this Kundalini merge. Uh, it also, 9-9 represents completion. So there'll be a lot of cycles that are completing around the 9-9 as we're preparing for the new beginning um, in, um, in Equinox. Oh, Grace. Um, you know, so there's going to be a lot of completion energy and a lot of new beginning energy around Equinox. There's going to be massive shifts going down in the collective brothers and sisters. Massive changes are happening come September. And it's going to be, can, you know how we all felt that big, massive energy surge around March time and the fact that this group was created in March? Well, I'm picking up the same energies about September do you know what I mean? Like September's going to be like <clears throat> shift. The shift is going to hit the fan, brothers and sisters. So, um, so it's really, really important that we can come together in these transmission groups to really massively support the energy of the Earth consciousness as we are all shifting and we're transitioning from three D to five D. That's also what I wanted to say. And also, I just wanted to say that Spirit is really guiding me at the moment. Um, to start sharing like some Zoom Zoom groups, so um, and I'm going to be mainly working with beloveds in this group. Um, but what it is is I've been guided by Spirit to create an a, a three week Ascension masterclass. So and it's going to be like a Zoom group that you come and you, you come and you meet me and we all meet each other and we go through this, um, this Ascension experience and we speak about the nuts and bolts of Ascension and we fill in the missing pieces of the puzzle so that anything that you don't understand about this Ascension process is explained to you. Because what you have to understand, brothers and sisters, is that we are the forerunners, we are the way showers of the new paradigm. And come September, we're going to be having so many new brothers and sisters that are going to be awakening that we they are going to need as many of us as possible in this as as pillars of light as lighthouses that are really really stabilized and really really anchored in our own ascension process and have with an understanding and insight into into this this like this process and so spirit is guiding me i haven't decided dates i haven't decided anything i only just got this idea yesterday 
but I just want to um, let everybody know that I'm going to be organising, uh, I think it's going to be a three week Zoom group, it's going to be you meet for like once a week for three weeks, um, Zoom it up goddess, <laughs> says Katie, but, but what it is, is in a way, it's that... Um, it's the fact that we can all get to meet each other. We can come together and actually, like, you can meet me or we can meet brothers and sisters in the group and we can, like, really, really massively engage in this, in this collective upgrade together. And, um, and it will just give you that, that deeper understanding of the ascension process. Um, so anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is that, um, so with regards to the mailing list, brothers and sisters, so I just want to say about the mailing list, so, I, I, you know, it's really, really important that if you want to, like, if anything was to ever happen with this platform, that is Facebook, it's really important that as many brothers and sisters give me their email addresses, just in case we happen to move to another platform, if anything was to ever happen. Now, we have 60 odd thousand people in the group. I've, I've received over a thousand emails, which is not a lot, really. So, just to let you know, those thousand emails have gone onto my mailing list, um, but they've all now been saved onto a hard drive. And so I wrote an email out to everyone last week saying, um, the, all your emails are stored on a hard drive. If you don't want to be part of my mailing list, please click here and you can unsubscribe from my mailing list. Okay? So please check your emails. If you don't want to be receiving any of my newsletters or any of my blogs or anything like that, which is totally fair enough, you could just remove yourself from the mailing list. But please know that your, your email address is safe. This is also a request to anyone else who's watching this to please send me your email address so that I can add it to the mailing list if, if we were to move platforms. Um, but it looks like I'm now probably gonna be sending information out about these Zoom groups. Oh God, Leandra, thanks, thanks love, but um, I, I, I'll post the link in here to, to add your email address to the mailing list, okay? Um, so, but I'll probably be letting everyone know about the Zoom groups via the email, by, by, via the, uh, via email, so just to let you all know. Um, okay, so that was that, and so I just want to read a couple of last messages. Amy says, you always give me the messages I need at the exact time. We are so grateful for you, Jen. Thank you for leading all of us. Thank you, Amy, for your amazing love and everything and presence and support and amazing admin powers. I love you, sister. David Rocks. Thank you, Jen and Admins from Canberra, Australia. I love your work. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to more ascension and transition. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, so, Mardi and Leandro, thank you for sending me your email addresses, but I'm now going to put the link on this comment thread. So if anybody wants to add their email list, their email to this mailing list, um, please do so. Thanks, Jen, from Perth, Australia. That's great, Jane. So I think that's it, brothers and sisters. And um, I haven't shared any songs with you today. Um, let's, okay, look, I've got my drum. Let's see if a little song come, wants to come through. We are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. We are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. We are opening, we are opening, we are opening, we are opening. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire, brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly high. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire, brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly high. We are rising up, we are rising up, we are rising up, we are rising up. We are blossoming like a lotus flower, let your 
your love light shining to the finest hour we are blossoming like a lotus flower let your love light shine into the finest hour we are blossoming we are blossoming we are blossoming we are blossoming okay brothers and sisters thank you all so much for being on this journey thank you all so much for being part of this meditation I really, really look forward to sharing with you some more. Um, I'm going to be organising a concert on the page with my really, really good friend Nalini. I hope that she's going to be up for it, but Nalini's a really amazing singer and uh, we sing beautifully together. So I'm going to be asking Nalini to come and share some songs. Um, so hopefully that will be happening this week. And um, so yeah, a really, really super powerful meditation, everyone. And uh, I definitely recommend doing that um so andrew says i keep missing you and your live we will be in sync soon i have much energy to exchange and offer the group so please listen to jen to prepare to receive she knows what she's talking about please support her work oh andrew oh guys thank you you're all so beautiful you're all so beautiful i love you all so much thank you all for keeping the vibration so super high in this group and just for like creating co-creating this amazing culture of kindness Thank you so much. Any link for a good meditation, Naveen, go to the beginning of this, this video and you'll find the meditation, honey. It's a really, really powerful meditation that I shared about upgrading our eyes. Okay, brothers and sisters, so that's it. I love you all. Namaste, 44 people on the call. I'm 44. 44 is my favorite number, apart from 33. So one love. Flow, flow, love you, sister. Love you all so much. All is well. We have so got this. Namaste.